Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In this video, we're doing an email sheet. So we're going to email the entire sheet in HTML format to look like this. So I'm going to show you what I did. I created a custom menu to do this. So and then I have one item under it. So I hit send email. I get prompted a question. Who am I going to send this to? So I'm going to enter that. So I enter that email. The next question is what sheet? Now in this particular Google Sheets I just have one sheet now but I can have multiple ones and I can just select the one I want. So I select table, hit OK. It is done. I can go back to my email, check my inbox and there I have it there. And it emails me. So I'm going to go through the steps I took putting this Google Sheets together and the Google Apps script behind it. So let's get started. So here I got my table. This is just a simple table. Uh, the important thing here is the header row. This is how I measure the columns of the table. And then I will be looking for the last row of the data. And that's how I figure this entire table here to email, to convert it to the HTML. So next I'm going to go to Tools and we're going to look at the Google Apps Script. So I'm going to go to Script Editor. All right, the first part of this is the on open. If you don't know what the on open does, when I open the sheet up, it'll automatically put this custom menu tab in there, which is right here, and it'll add my selection there, the send email there, which is tied to a function called send sheet. Send sheet is what does all the emailing. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting up a UI here object and from this UI object I'm doing the prompt so when I when you first saw me that window popped up I entered my email address there I'm grabbing that data and then I'm entering my sheet name I'm grabbing that data and then next I'm grabbing the object of my sheet I'm defining my sheet the table sheet from the response text of my sheet name so I'm populating there and I'm getting declaring my sheet from the sheet name which came back from my prompt. Next I'm getting the last row of the table. Now here's where I start defining the HTML to do the conversion. So table is the string that I'm going to be collecting for my table. So I declare it. I started out with a table. Table is the HTML with a border and some cell padding to give some space so the border is not so collapsed in on it. Next I'm doing a for loop. I'm using J as my variable. I'm using the last row. So I'm going to go through each row of the table. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our row HTML, start our row. And we're going to add it to our table string that we're starting and this will be our output for our email. We're going to look at the first row of our Google Sheets coming from our for loop, the J, and then we're going to go through each column. If the is blank equals false, we're going to add the data here. We're going to start our column and keep going over. And then we're going to count the then we're going to count the columns. And we're going to use this column count to figure in how wide is our table. And we're going to do this by just the header row. Once we get to this, that's how we build our header row. Now, once we get to row two of our table, we're going to go through this for loop and we're going to use the column. So from whatever we got from up here, our uh, total here, we're going to use this to determine each row following. And we're going to get the data from each column over. And again, we're using the TD for our, our rows under our header. We're using TH for our header. And this was just for the first row. Every row after that, we're using TH. And we're combining it to our table string. And then after we do each row, we're closing in our row string for HTML. And then when we get done with the, the whole for loop, the whole table, we're adding our ending table, HTML, to our string. So then we enclose our full table, HTML table, into our string. And then after that, we grab the response from our email address. We give the subject the name of our sheet that we have, which in this case is table. And then we're assigning the table to our HTML body. And then from all that, 
this is what we get the result. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below the video. Until next time.